from the oppression, That's which right. is what race are they again? Why keep saying it. you gotta you gotta keep you got to understand that and accept that. Right. You to accept anything else. What what color is Christ? Pray get it. Well, I, the I got you. Say that again. Get that. Get that. Say that one more time, bro. Also, you're here. One more time. What you, you said you grew up. You said you um you knew Christ was what? White. White. He was talking. He's white, right? Mm -hmm. So check this out. We this is the say of the Lord. Read the book of Revelation, the last book in the Bible. Verse chapter one, huh. verse one. Mm. The revelation of Jesus Christ. The revealing, sis. If you're gonna reveal something, that means you're going to what? You're going to that, or you're going to show it. So this is the showing of Christ. Fourteen. Verse fourteen. Uh -huh. His head. His what? His head. His head. So Christ has a body, read. And his hair. And his hair. So he had hair on his head, read. Were white like wool. So his hair was white. In color and woolly in texture. That's right. Not the white man. Read. As white as snow. Uh huh. Great hair. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. What was Christ's first miracle? What was his very first miracle? You know? Okay. Did he hear the or something like that? No, not that one. His first one. Come on, think about it. His first miracle. Everybody knows what this is. He turned water into. Oh, wow. Come on with it. Now, what happens when you drink wine? What happened to the whites of your eyes? They turn red. You know, Cyclops, Christ drank wine to the point they accused him of being a wine bibber. Right. You understand what I'm saying? Christ drank wine. Read. Verse 15. Uh -huh. And his feet. And his what? And his feet. And his what? And his feet. Read. Like unto fine brass. What color is brass, sis? Why are you embarrassing me? <laughs> I, why, why, do what, why do what? No, no, no. I'm trying to provoke thought. That's it. That's love, sis. That's all this is. What color is brass? I think brass is brown. Brass is brown. What? So he said, and his feet, what? And his feet, uh -huh. like unto fine brass. Like unto fine brass. So he said, Christ's feet was brown. Read. As if they burned in a furnace. Now, how do you, how is something distinguished, or how do you uh, signify something's been burnt? By what? It's been burnt, like by how do you, you be like that's right. And what color is it if something is burnt? Then we don't burn the biscuit. Say what? It's, it's black. Right. So this is saying Christ is what? Not only brown, but a very dark skinned man. You understand what I'm saying? So what did where did we get this from? Where did we get this from? Yeah, where did we get this from? Yeah, where we get that from? Our oppressor. Right? Because when we got off those slave ships, we was we were speaking Hebrew. We wasn't speaking the language that we speak today. We couldn't read. They stripped us of everything, right? Our heritage, right? Jeremiah 17 and 4. Right? Stripped us of everything. So everything that we know to this day, Christmas, Thanksgiving, birthdays, Valentine's Day. Uh, say you you can go down to you go to every month and it's a thing on heathen custom every month in a year. Yes, sir. Two minutes. That we so, but give me uh Sam, give me a real quick. Yes, sir. Oh, bless the Let's read that from okay? The book of Jeremiah, chapter 17, verse 4. Read. And thou, even thyself, uh -huh. shall discontinue from thy inheritance. Like you said, we've been stripped. Right. But that's already been prophesied before you even came up with that thought. That's right. This is what exactly is gonna happen to you. White man Jesus. Give me, check this out. This is uh what you got? What you got? Give me Revelations 21. I think it's 21 and um nope. Oh, 22. Yeah, 22. Yep. Let me get that real quick. Let me leave y'all something real, real quick. So I can turn quick. The book of Revelation, chapter 22, verse 14. Blessed. What? Blessed. What? Blessed. So we are what? In our status right now, we are what? We're not blessed, we're what? We're cursed. But the scripture says what? Blessed are they that what? That do uh -huh. his commandments. So if you want to be the opposite of what we're doing now, you want to change, you want to um uh change your conditions, it says if you the opposite of curse is being blessed. In order to do that, you gotta do what? Blessed are they that do his commandments, that they may have right to the tree of life. That's the kingdom. This is we're surrounded by death. If we're not keeping these commandments, you are the walking dead. That's right. Straight up. You understand what I'm saying? What else we got? 
Two more minutes? I got one more scripture. Let me go, go to Deuteronomy 22, 5. Real quick. Just real quick, real quick. I don't know if you was here for this. She wasn't here for that, huh? So in order for us to be blessed, we got to do what? For his commandments, according to what? The words. So I'm now about to give you a commandment, right? Now it's going to determine whether you want to be blessed or you want to be cursed. You understand what I'm saying? I'm about to read this. You got it? Yes, sir. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22, verse 5. Read. The woman. The who? The woman. No, it's specifically talking about agenda, not talking about the woman. Read. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Read. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. Now, my question is, what is a woman's garment? Sister Tequila. What is a woman's garment? Oh, we stuck. Yes, we are. We stuck. What's a woman's garment? When you go, how do you, how do you different? Clothes, clothes. So, yes, it's clothing. Right, a garment is an item of clothing, right? So what is a woman's garment? When you go to the bathroom, right? How do you, nope. That's for boys, that's for girls. So that, that's for men and that's for women. How do you know? Other than the word that says, the, the, the actual word woman. Oh, no. It has a picture. Yeah, about a picture. What is what's on the picture? It'd be a picture of a lady or a man. How do you know it's a lady? It have a dress. Right. Okay. Come on with it now. Right. And the man, does a man have a dress? No. no. Pants. You understand what I'm saying? Pants are a man's garment. Read it again. Verse 5. The woman shall not wear that which pertain unto a man. Read. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. Now does that sound optional? It doesn't. Right? But the scripture said, blessed are they who keep the commandments. You understand what I'm saying? So, women are not to be wearing pants. Pants were always made for men. That's right. Right? That's right. If we was up here in purple dresses right now, would you take us seriously? Would you? No, no. Why? Something just ain't right. But it's the same way when we look at sisters in pants. Something just ain't right. Because that's not what you're supposed to be wearing. Right. Thus saith the Lord. Right. right. You understand that? And the Most High is very serious about that thing. He's very serious about that. Get the head cover. Get the head cover. Get it on. Um, this is a healing process. You give me the camera cap. Uh, well, get the camera cap. The you will sit there. And you will request or religious accommodation and let right. them know that this is against my. This is against my religion. You do the paperwork, right? You do the paperwork. Now, time I attend, they will grant that, and you can wear leggings underneath your dress. Right. Or if your faith is that high, you will change. You will switch occupations. What? Right. Right if you got faith, you will switch that's occupations that's to keep the Lord. The, the, those are leggings, but it's supposed to be a dress over there, right? right. You mm -hmm. understand what I'm saying? You supposed to be in dress. Your daughter's supposed to be in dress. You understand right. what I'm saying? What we got? First Corinthians chapter eleven, verse four. Uh -huh. Every man pray uh -huh. or prophesy, uh -huh. having his head covered, right. dishonor of his head. Right. But every woman that prayeth. Or prophesy it. What we're doing now, we're prophesying, we're teaching prophecy, right? Read. Right. With her head uncovered. With her head what? With her head uncovered. Your daughter is, is keeping the commandment right now. Read. Right. Right. With her head uncovered, uh. dishonoreth her head. Which is the man. Your man, then it's Christ, and then it's God. It's an order. So, women, when you're reading the scriptures or you studying, your head is supposed to be covered. Right? right? Men, head is supposed to be uncovered. Or you dishonor the man would be dishonoring Christ, and the woman would be dishonoring her man, her Lord, her husband. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.